Hey, what is up guys, it's me, I'll talk a minor, and today I'm going to briefly discuss Sonic and DLC. So I'm not sure if this is correct, but I'm pretty sure the first time Sega dipped their toes in DLC in Sonic games was when Sonic Generations released. People who pre-ordered the console versions got a bonus zone, Casino Night, while for the PC version it was saved as DLC for $5. Which, I'm not sure why they didn't do this for the console versions. Well, anyways, the DLC was later made free, but this supposed Casino Night Zone DLC was not what it sounded like at first. This DLC was not a whole two new levels to play through, but instead was a pinball minigame? But why? Why couldn't they just have made this a full zone instead of a pinball minigame? Also, the remix that plays during it is ripped straight from the 3DS version, which actually had Casino Night Zone as playable levels. Talk about lazy. The second time Sonic had DLC was when Sega ported Sonic Adventure 2 to PS3, Xbox 360, and Steam, where the battle version of the game was saved as DLC for $3. I actually ended up buying it during the Steam Winter Sale for $0.74. Cents. Well, the DLC I can actually confirm is worth your money as it adds Chow Karate, a 21 additional battle mode stages, and 6 new playable characters in battle mode. So, overall, good DLC. The third time Sonic met with DLC was with Sonic All-Stars Racing, as well as Transformed, but we're gonna skip over those. Also, this part's not in the script, but the reason I skipped over them was because... I would have had to do way more research if I wanted to go through that, and on top of that, the script would have been way longer. It's already late enough as it is, so I'm extremely sorry. The fourth time Sonic met with DLC was a bit under a year after Sonic Mania released with Sonic Mania Plus DLC. Now, while Sonic Mania Plus was Sega's way of making physical versions of the game, they also made it into DLC for the digital versions for $5. The Sonic Mania Plus DLC, or as the official digital stores call it, Encore DLC, adds two new playable characters, Mighty and Ray, as well as Encore Mode. Now, while Encore Mode was a bit disappointing, Mighty and Ray were great additions to the game. Solid DLC overall. But does anyone notice how Sega was very meh at the thought of DLC in Sonic games? But then Sonic Mania released and got the highest rated Sonic game in over a decade, and then all of a sudden Sega's like, Oh yeah, DLC is the coolest thing ever. Just something I thought was interesting. While Super Sonic was not originally in Sonic Forces, they added him in as DLC for $2. Really, Sega? I mean, really? Well, they did make it free later on, but still, come on. They also made a Sonic shirt as free DLC for the custom hero. I love Sega. So overall, Sonic's past with DLC has been pretty okay. But I really do think Sega should step up their game when it comes to DLC and maybe start making, I don't know, actual levels as paid DLC. Like, I don't understand why they haven't done this for Sonic Mania, as there were stages that didn't get in but people still wanted, as well as maybe some more original stages, as people have said that they wish that there were more of those too. Also, they really should have done this for Sonic Generations as well. Like, for real Sega, where's my Sonic Generations Mag Gear Zone DLC?